all right so scorpios welcome back all right so we're gonna jump right into your reading and see what your person would like to say to you but can't so let's see what the first card is if this video does resonate remember to like the video um support the channel but if it doesn't resonate you guys i'll have your playlist linked below in the description box okay so what's going on for scorpio what does this person want to say to Scorpio, universe, ancestors, or highest divine, or source of power, or Lord and Savior? What is going on for Scorpio? What you would like to share with us today? All right, so let's see here. What's going on for Scorpio? Wow, so the page of wands. I feel like I feel like this person is like, I'm not giving up. They're making a decision to come to you. I feel like this person wants to be successful with you. So I'm seeing a lot of people around them. This could be an issue with you and this person as well, where you feel like there's so many people like talking about you or talking about them or try to have their two cents when it comes to this relationship. But just know that this person, whatever is going on and whoever is around them, um, they're making the decisions here, not anyone. Um, this is what I'm seeing here. So I feel like this person wants to have that stability with you and they're making a decision to to work on this marriage or to work on, you know, this relationship. This is what they're feeling, okay? I feel like you're going to have to start over from scratch. This is what they're saying here um, because they're see I'm seeing them working from the bottom. This is what I'm seeing from the beginning. Um, of this relationship so let's see here we have the high priestess they do value you and they do see you they feel like you're very strong look at that the queen of wands then you have the chariot so something is holding back you guys from being together here the nine of wands they're saying that it's been so many things that you guys have been going through and some of this is about financial matters as well so the house is kind of cold it's empty for those of you who live together there's no communication this person comes in and then they leave i feel like you're a lot of you're like this person is just not home this is what i'm seeing here someone is just not home someone is just not you know making it feel like this is a priority here and i feel like you're very silent about this you're appearing like you don't care and that's what they're bringing up like you just don't care like you're really strong they're saying that there is no emotions you're not showing any kind of emotions here you're really just um reserved um and you're just like in secret i feel like a lot of you what is going on here because i'm seeing your third eye and it's like you're spiritually like like powerful you're, you're you're in your prayer right now scorpio you're in your manifestation right now and you're really not trying to have this person affect you in no kind of way i feel like this happened so much recently okay with this nine of wands energy here where you're just like you know really tired and they're saying that they're tired too um they feel like you're not into you know really holding on to this relationship the way they want to hold on to this relationship like you're not there you're not the same um your feelings have changed and this is why the chariot is in reverse because they don't know if they're going to be successful with you or not or if this is something that you want to conquer with them again um i'm feeling like the it's, it's a lot of um coldness here it's like someone is like watching their life like being ripped apart here but this is where their home is they're saying that this is where they're most complete and they feel really like this this energy of like where what else should i be doing you know i don't want to be anywhere else so they feel very um tied up with you if that makes sense i'm seeing the world and i'm looking at the world here and it's like you guys are really tied up with each other it's like can't really get apart right now this is what I'm seeing here, but it's so much misfortune that's going on with you and this person. And I, a lot of you feel used and feel like this person doesn't care about you. And I feel like a lot of the time this person is missing and you don't know where they are at. So there's no, no, no trust here either. That's what I'm feeling, no trust. So the death is also showing up. That's your energy. You're feeling stuck. This is like, you know, in the world. Very, very, very serious about this. Very 
content about this feeling can't really get apart from each other right now even though this situation looks like it's about to end but you're not ready to actually you know move forward then you have the seven of pentacles here so there's going to be um something that you've been working on i'm seeing success i'm seeing something come into life here so this could be money that's coming in okay and a lot of you need this with this five of pentacles because this five of pentacles is something that is that you're dealing with over and over again and then the 11 11 is also in reverse because this person tends to not change or tends to stay into this energy where this is pretty comfortable we should just stay here why why should we you know move why should we get more money why should we better ourselves we're okay where we are right now there's no problem but the other partner is like oh my god i'm bored to that if you don't change up things i'm going to venture out but you're not communicating with each other so one person is thinking something is great this is where we need to be this is where we need to stay there is no point why why do this why do that this is what i'm hearing but there's no communication nobody knows what the other one is thinking that's like the whole thing it's like from i started this reading scorpio this person is thinking that you're okay because you're not showing any kind of emotions you're just you know doing your thing you know living in your sun it, this is how you appear to them okay so you might be like it's not even like that and i get it i get it but this is how they are seeing you and this is what happens when there is no communication in the relationship everybody's just assuming everybody is okay and this is what everybody wants and and this is what they're saying like you're just looking good you're just you know um helping out others you're being very strong this is what i'm seeing here but yet when it comes to this person's heart there's like no form of decision where, where this person is going they don't know there's like too many problems here it's like you're nurturing to others but they're saying like you're being nice they're being overly nice and there's so many things going on they don't know what this is all about they feel like they can't trust it they feel like they can't trust it and i feel like oof, yeah look at that the six of the six of cups the five of cups wow the knight of pentacles tell me more about what this person wants scorpio to know there is a okay the two of um pentacles i don't like where this is going you have the five of pentacles you have the chariot in reverse you have the four of cups you have the five of cups you have the six of cups you have the two of pentacles here oh okay i feel like there is someone else there is someone else this person is venturing out because there's something going on this person is saying that they cannot they don't want to make a decision right now and i feel like the chariot also talks about you know they don't know they're kind of confusing where the direction that they want to be in when it comes to relationship when it comes to the su success of the relationship so obviously they're venturing out they're entwined with something else this is why they're so cold at home um for some of you this person just comes in get what they want and then leave and leave you with all of the the situation you're looking like the queen of wands here someone that is taken well not even that you're just taking responsibility of a lot of things um a lot of you are working really hard this is what i'm seeing here you know a lot of you i'm getting like the sub masculine energy of trying to be the man and the woman in a relationship or if you are a man you're trying to be the woman too um when it comes to your home your person is just not around and if you're a woman you're trying to be the man of the relationship with the kids and being that, that motherly figure as well and you're trying to make sure the bills are paid you're trying to make sure that you're doing all the manly things because you're just your man in home um and i feel like you are doing a fine job doing this for those of you but you just there's it's, it's very difficult this is what i'm hearing okay but there is going to be a breakthrough through to you for you because what you do is the seeds that you're planting so i'm seeing like a, a bunch of money for you that is going to just come in and you're going to be stable 
so this money issue is not going to last very long this is what i'm seeing here but the the love is it's changing you have the six of cups you know a very strong pull with this person and yet this person is like it's just a lot of memories a lot of time that was invested in this relationship i'm seeing that look at all the photos you know the photos in the back and then of course the five of cups you're feeling quite alone very like you felt like this person abandoned you in this relationship you feel really disappointed you're ready to move on you're ready to move on in the five of cups here okay i'm sorry not the five of cups the seven of cups oh my goodness so the six of cups in reverse and then i'm sticking with what i just said because hey the angels were making what had me say that so but since this is the seven of cups i'm definitely tapping into another energy okay so the six of cups in reverse this person oh my god it's like you're going to be communicating about the seven of cups the reason why you felt so like abandoned and so like um disappointed and you guys are ready to move forward is like even though your energy is just like here okay like you're stuck you're stuck into something but you're ready for something new is because this person again is this clarification of what i was seeing in two of pentacles seven of cups here boom they were cheating on you and there's someone that they're seeing on the regular basis there's you know other people that they're flirting with but there's someone that they're seeing more than the others this is what i'm hearing because when the seven of cups comes up obviously this person has a lot of options a lot of temptation throughout the day and there's something that is happening here they're not focusing at home they're not giving you the stability that you want you're giving them the stability that you want right that you want to see that you picture yourself seeing and this person is not giving you that and then we have the knight of cups where this person you know is not i mean they don't mind trying to work on this relationship but they don't have any faith in it so where it's going to go this is what they're saying right it's like maybe one day we'll work out but right now i just don't feel like it's going to but i feel like with you and your energy you're working on your your you're working so hard on keeping everything together so tell me more yeah look at that you have the ace of cups here that's coming up for you you have the two of wands i feel like a lot of you are so ready to be in love this is what i'm hearing and you don't want anything less you don't want anything less from anyone and there's going to be an opportunity that's coming towards you the angels want you to know that um, there's going to be an opportunity with love, um, with whatever you've been desiring, whatever you've been praying for is coming towards you as well, okay? So we have the strength, but the angels also want you to know this is not a time to run away and to burn bridges. I feel like you need to definitely get to a point where you can get some kind of clarity throughout this situation. The angels see what's going on here. They know that you're exhausted. They know that you did everything that you could do when it comes to this relationship. But you have so much vested in with this person. A lot of you have a family here, a family tree, the Ten of Pentacles. And it's also showing up as money, again, that I'm seeing that is, you know, coming up here. You have this so many things. So this is a marriage, you guys. This is what I'm feeling, some kind of marriage situation here but look you have the eight of cups and then you have the three of cups i'm seeing that you're going single some kind of friendships are going to take you out of this bubble you know take you out adventure out what is this also showing up Ooh, a breakthrough the ace of swords that was a bonus card um the ace of swords wow there's going to be clarity there's and i feel like this is what the angels want you to know like even though you feel exhausted and you feel tired in the strength within leo just know that you have it into you. you're going to have to form the courage to actually get over this you know to um confront this and don't do what you did before which is i just feel like you are in this bubble scorpio in this relationship where you just like totally like act like it wasn't happening <laughs> like this you know you saw the red flags you know everything you felt everything with your intuition you were having dreams you were having visions like your angels were telling you obviously you were so like your person is saying you were so entwined with your intuition it's like that you were seeing things before they even did it before they even did it 
so you already know for those of you who have been praying about like please give me sight and you got it like the angels have been giving you it and everything that the angels have shown you, you your highest divine your source of power your lord your savior have been showing you all of this because they want to protect you they want you to be prepared and you have been ignoring this like nothing is happening like this is not real this is a bad dream this is what i'm feeling here and it just got to like this to the point that this person just kept doing this this is what they do because they're not getting what they need from home not to blame you for anything there's just no communication between you and this person it's like it's great when it's great and you're laughing you're talking about things but what you need to talk about you're not talking about and that's the communication that is missing um, and I feel like you were afraid to say things and then you say the wrong thing and they're scared to do the same, you know. But the 1111 is not looking too good when it comes to you and this person. When it comes to the fulfillment, they're just feeling like it's very off, you know. Um, they, it's just been so much time here. It's like you're, you're a different person. You're a different person. And, and you, the reason why you're a different person is because of everything that this person has brought you through within nine of wants here there's so many experiences that you guys had together and with the six of cups that came through here as well this is someone that you knew for a very very long time you know they still feel love for you don't get me wrong here there's a huge form of love that they feel for you you feel it for them but something changed when they disrespected you this is what i'm hearing after all of all of this and they know it this is what they're saying like after all of this, the Nine of Wands, all of this experiences and, you know, holding or protecting the legacy that you guys protect for each other, the home, whatever, because there's a door at the Nine of Wands. You and this person is standing up in front of this Nine of Wands. You're protecting your home behind you. You have all these wands and you're protecting. You don't want anyone to know your business. There are so many things that have happened over the point of the years this is what i'm seeing here and you're trying to protect and this person is trying to protect but no more you're not protecting anymore this person is standing alone this is what they're saying that they're standing alone with the nine of wands and no one is protecting but them you are done you changed you changed and you did because your love is showing up like you shift you shift because of the disrespect and then you're feeling quite alone in your home you feel like it's very cold this person get very you know iffy with you when you're asking them something especially you know when it comes to the home and the foundation it's like they're cold they shut you out you know they talk about sometimes when you're having an argument you could go you could leave you know odds would be all right you don't need to be here like they make you feel like you are so replaceable that it's not even funny at this point i'm seeing the death in reverse and again, Scorpio, that is your energy in the center of all things. You're feeling like you don't know what to do. You know it's ending. Everything is crumbling, but you just don't know what you're going to do from here. And this is because you've been with this person for a very long time. Going back and forth with this person and this person's energy, a lot of you could have lost yourself financially, okay? But I'm seeing that you're going to be okay. You're going to be strong. You're going to be working really hard. It's like you're having this masculine energy. You're taking up the masculine energy here. And plus you have some friends that are trying to get you out of this bubble. I'm seeing as soon as you decide to make a decision to walk away from this relationship, whatever that decision is, I don't feel like it's a separation um, because I just feel like it's some space. I need some space for me because the hyphenant is in the upright. So it's, it's like, it's not that you're ending this. You're trying to it's like this person is not ending this so it's, it's going to be a struggle you know something here is holding you guys together i feel like it's a family that you guys have built you know the ten of pentacles you built an empire together you built something that you're going to leave behind maybe businesses and everything like that you know you're just like wow this is look at this you know look at these hands you look at that family tree your legacy but I see, I'm seeing like a breakthrough here happening, but you're walking away, but you're walking away for both of you. You're not walking away for yourself. You're walking away for both. So you're making a decision based on love here and you feel like this person needs some time and so do you. But I'm seeing your friends taking you out to celebrate or to you know, mingle. So be careful with that energy. If you're just not ready for that, don't do that. If you're not ready to um, separate, don't do that. You know, friends are friends. They're trying to make you happy and trying to make you who you used to be before you got married. Remember that or before you got into a relationship with a person. You know, that's what they want. They want you to make them happy in that moment. But you're already 
in a, a situation, remember your friends are your friends, but your family is, you know, what you made a vow to. And that's what's coming up here, you know. And the funny thing is, your Ten of Pentacles is in the upright. And there's just a lot of signs here like this is not going to be a separation for long. But I feel like if you guys don't form a communication um, and just talk to each other, it just is not going to make any sense. It's not going to make any sense, you know. I feel like it's time for you to stand up for yourself. But this is what I have, what this person wants to tell you and this person want to share with you. And I feel like they're like, communicate, communicate. But they don't even know how to communicate either because you're dealing with someone that is quite very, very young. Appearing to be very, very young. Especially when it comes to um, ideas or putting things together. I feel like that was you because you're coming off as the Queen of. You see what I'm saying? The Queen of Wands. Um, you're coming off as someone that knows how to start up a business, know how to make things happen, make things move. And then you're showing up as someone that has a lot of experience under their belt. You're showing up as someone very aggressive. So as well, they're bringing that up. Like, you know, you're bringing that up like the, the masculine energy. You take in charge. You act like you're the man of the relationship for those females out there. And you're and you're the woman or, um, you know, both. Well, if you're the man of the relationship, you're you're just like you're you're doing a little bit too much. You know, it's no balance here. This is what I'm hearing. But <laughs> This person is funny. This person is funny. Everything you like when it comes to the stability, I'm feeling like this person is making all the wrong decisions though. They're making decisions that are not benefit you or the family. And you're holding this up. You're the one that's holding this up. See, Scorpio, you're the one that's holding this up. This person is showing up as someone that is just wrecking everything. They're showing up as someone that is quite, yeah, they're trying to make ideas, but your ideas are better. They don't know how to take criticism. You know, they're very like a crybaby. This is what I'm seeing here, but wow. This was a deep read. So we have um, Leo energy for those of you that are with a Leo. Um, let's see what else before I end this. I just don't want to miss anything. Um, we have the world, um, Aquarius, we have Gemini, we have uh, Leo, we have Taurus again. We have Scorpio's energy there. Um, we also have Cancer energy. We have Cancer energy twice, by the way, with the High Priestess and the Chariot in the reverse. We have Taurus energy with the High Ferrand. So this person is very old-fashioned. I'm getting an old-fashioned kind of person here. It's very slow, too. It could be very slow. Um, at the same time, it's like... But it's like they're very slow, and I'm feeling like they met you, and you're kind of like already there with the experience that you've been... You've been through a lot of bad things, but at the same time, it's like you you met at a place where they were still learning and you were just like wow yeah this is going for me this is going i'm doing this i'm planning to do that i'm just yeah everything is working out everything is coming together and they're like still trying to figure out the dotted lines of their life but this is what i have for you love you guys and i'll see you guys in your next read bye guys